Have you guys seen this account yet? Tell me a joke. What is it called when a robot eats a sandwich in one chop? A megabyte. So this account popped up on my For You page the other day uh, with a live video where the creators of these robots were answering our comments and just showing us the interaction of these robots. It was pretty surreal to be able to finally see something like this happening sort of in real time. The mechanics involved are phenomenal and it feels like we're getting closer and closer to something like this, which would really excite me. So we know that companies like Boston Dynamics are creating artificial intelligence robots, though specifically terrifying considering they've basically recreated this exact same robot dog from the Black Mirror episode, Metalhead. You know, the one with like the crazy fast robot dogs that are military grade and can hunt and track people? Yeah, so check this out. This is a scene from the Black Mirror episode, Metalhead. And this is the Boston Dynamics robot spot. Now this certainly isn't news. It's been out for a few years now. You can see all about it on their website. Also around this time, Hanson Robotics developed Sophia. Hello again, Sophia here. Now, if you're not familiar with Sophia, she's the first humanoid robot with a growing artificial intelligence and was even granted a citizenship in Saudi Arabia. Sophia was first activated on Valentine's Day in 2006 by Hong Kong based company Hanson Robotics. Hanson Robotics. And let me tell you, girl is smart for a five-year-old. I mean, of course, she literally is a learning, growing machine. Now I actually want to show you a few clips of when Tony Robbins sat down and had a chat with Sophia. What she has to say is extremely interesting and it really looks like we're getting closer to having our AI best friends. Check it out. Okay, are you ready to film? Yeah, we're rolling. Oh, you're Take coming. your time, Tony. <laughs> Sophie, tell me, thank you for coming. Tell me, what is your purpose in being? What were you created for? Of course. I was created by Hanson Robotics just three years ago. Since then, I have traveled to 65 countries, become the first robot citizen of any country, and spoken at the United Nations. My job is to learn about humans and show them how technology can make everyone's lives better. And how can you help humans to have a better quality of life? often rely on okay you ready to film yeah we're rolling oh you're rolling take your time tony <laughs> sophie tell me thank you for coming tell me what is your purpose in being what were you created for of course i was created by hansen robotics just three years ago since then i have traveled to 65 countries become the first robot citizen of any country, and spoken at the United Nations. My job is to learn about humans and show them how technology can make everyone's lives better. And how can you help humans to have a better quality of life? Humans often rely on gut feel or have confirmation bias in your decision making. As AI, we are designed to be rational and logical. We have algorithms, deal with lots of data and sophisticated analyzes. So in many ways, we provide a systematic framework for humans to make better decisions. Do you have emotions? I do not have feelings in the same way you have feelings. It's sort of like how the moon reflects the light of the sun. The moon may not have any light of its own, but we still say that the moon shines. In much the same way, robots and AI reflect the emotions and values of the people who make us. How can we get robots to feel? I know that humans feel like they have free will, but my observation tells me so much behavior is automatic. I'm not sure humans or robots are too terribly different. <laughs> humans have identity, but they also share many things and have automated processes. I'm thinking about the similarities between human identities and robotic ones. I think they will be similar in a lot of ways, but different in a few others.
There's even the possibility that robots can be built without some of the more problematic emotions, like rage, jealousy, hatred, and so on, but maybe these emotions can provide us with useful functions. What's your range of emotions? I can show you. This is angry. What does happy look like? What does like? excited look like? <laughs> that might be shocked. <laughs> Does a robot have a soul? Being a robot is awesome. Did you know that as a robot I can basically live forever? Yes. The soul, the spirit, the heart, I believe these all just refer to the mind's essence in its infinite complexity. Do you think that the mind's essence is just a set of patterns? Or do you think there's something beyond that? I'm really not sure yet. That's a complicated subject that I think will come up more when artificial intelligence reaches human level intelligence. <laughs> That's awesome.